Well, it took 17 episodes of Season 6, but it's finally here, the first Discord episode of the season, and what's even more interesting is Spike and Big Mac get to join in for the very first Bro episode of the series. It's been since the end of Season 5 that Discord has started an episode, does he still have some good gags up his non-existent sleeves? And do Spike and Big Mac have the chemistry to play off the Lord of Chaos while also paying homage to the classic Dungeons and Dragons? Knights, draw your swords, archers, gather your bow and arrows, and magicians, prepare your wands or staffs to find out. Now, as we all know, when it comes to Discord episodes, there will be gags, and this episode did not disappoint. Right away, I can tell you my favorite gag was the opposite dimension where opposite Fluttershy yells at Discord and calls him Sassafras. Though there were a lot of other gags that gave it a run for its money, like Discord rearranging the train tracks straight into a volcano or a Space Jam-esque entrance into the castle complete with a mini Discord, the Jazz Club gag with Discord in a zoot suit, and Discord trapping Big Mac in a bubble. The Discord Celestia hybrid gag was more unsettling than funny, but I still managed to chuckle at it. And of course, Discord's reaction to the role-playing game was gold. And I found it more awesome than funny how Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash jumped right into the game at the end of the episode. While I don't think these were the best Discord gags, they were still hilarious and put a big smile on my face. Aside from all the gags involving Discord and just the sheer fun this episode was, one of the strongest points was the homage to Dungeons & Dragons. Now look, I've never once played Dungeons & Dragons in my life, and that's not to say I wouldn't give it a shot, but the writers presented the MLP parody of the game in a very respectful way to people who do enjoy the game worldwide. Never once were any of the jokes like, hey, look how nerdy these guys are for playing this, or this game is for losers. Spike and Big Mac normally don't socialize outside their group of friends, or family in Big Mac's case, but they found something they love to do together as friends every once in a while, and the episode shows that there's nothing wrong with that. Discord was presented as the people who only know of horrible stereotypes about D&D, so of course he'd be against the game and didn't want to give it a fair shot. This episode did a great job to celebrate how much people around the world love D&D, and that it can be a fun game for for anyone who gives it a fair try. And as was revealed in the Season 5 premiere, I'm really happy to see the writers actually show Big Mac and Spike hanging out when the main six go out of town. We've seen them star in episodes before, but never with them as main characters together in an episode. Obviously, I still love episodes where Spike stars alongside the main six, or just one or two members of the main six, and I like Big Mac's cameos in other episodes, or the far in between episodes that actually list him as a main cast member like Brotherhood Social. And just like the 100th episode special last season, I thoroughly enjoy episodes that show what other characters do when the main stars are off doing their normal thing, and this episode was no exception. I think it's cool that Spike and Big Mac found a friend in one another and something they can bond over. Even though Big Mac still doesn't talk much, their chemistry here felt really natural and not like the writers just plopped them together for a story. Plus, it's nice to see Big Mac let loose and have some fun other than just working on his farm all day. Honestly, I want to see more episodes of Spike and Big Mac hanging out together or even a cameo of them together in another episode, and if he can be fitted in, Discord as well. Now, as for the moral, I found it to be kind of interesting how it turned out. I liked how Big Mac and Spike invited Discord because they felt bad that he had a very limited circle of friends, but I really love what Discord learned. That just because he wasn't having fun, he shouldn't force Spike and Big Mac to be miserable as well, or else the fun just evaporates. And to add to that, he needed to respect what the ones who invited him to join in wanted to do. However, I do think Big Mac and Spike learned a little something as well, and this is just my opinion, so if you disagree, I wouldn't argue, but I believe Spike and Big Mac learned that when you invite someone to do something, you may have to compromise just a little bit to make everyone happy. They found out that when it was toned down, they really enjoyed living the game with Discord, and while I don't think it was wrong for them to try to get Discord to like the way they played the game, compromising worked out in the end for all three of them. However, the episode wasn't perfect. I found the lead up to Discord losing his patience to kind of drag on. Yeah, I liked how he felt like Spike and Big Mac were insulting him, and I liked the Jazz Club gag, but if that gag was cut and Discord sent he, Spike, and Big Mac into the game when they were laughing at his character's demise, then we would have at least got more time in the game's dimension, and it would have felt more in Discord's character to snap when he felt insulted. Plus, it would have given Spike and Big Mac more time to enjoy Discord's version of the game before it got too real. And I found it odd how we jump back to Twilight's castles as Spike and Big Mac could admit why they invited Discord only to go back a few minutes later. I think if we stayed in the game's dimension for the rest of the episode, it wouldn't feel as odd. But this is a very minor complaint that doesn't affect the episode too bad at all. The ending made up for it with Discord, Spike, and Big Mac dancing around chanting Guys Night while Twilight looks a bit disturbed and then Rainbow and Pinky eagerly join in the game. 
Overall, Dungeons and Discords was a fun ride the whole way, and well worth the wait for a Discord episode. And despite how much I wish we could have seen more of Spike, Big Mac, and Discord living the game of ogres and oogliettes, the gags involving our favorite Lord of Chaos were hilarious, especially opposite Fluttershy. It was so cool to see the writers keep up continuity with Big Mac and Spike hanging out together, as was first revealed in the Season 5 premiere. The game was written in as a way to be celebrated instead of just using it to make fun of people who do like Dungeons and Dragons, and the moral of not making your friends miserable just because you're not having fun, especially if they extend their hand out to you to let you join in the fun, and learning how to compromise was one a lot of kids could use. Plus, it was nice to have another episode where the main six's appearances amounted to cameos. I like episodes with the main six, obviously, but sometimes it's nice to expand upon other characters and see what they do in their own episodes. Dungeons and Discords gets a green flag rating simply for how fun it was. The moral was just a great bonus. But what did you think of the episode? I'm Mr. Left Turn, I'll see you when I get back from the track.